I've talked with 150 men about quitting porn, and I've learned many things. I hear that a lot of people have similar strategies when it comes to trying to remove porn from your life, whether it's taking cold showers, going on a walk outside, getting to the gym, going to bed earlier, putting your phone outside your room when you're going to sleep. All these strategies, while they're not bad, they definitely can help. They aren't, I don't think, crucial to quitting porn. I think what's crucial to quitting porn, actually, is having very deep conversations about the topic on a somewhat regular basis. If you are a person that has these kind of conversations somewhat regularly, all of a sudden, your identity becomes a person who isn't a porn watcher because you're regularly having these conversations. What I've noticed is a lot of guys, they have told zero to three people on average about their porn addiction and their goal to be free from porn. And from what I've found, that's not the greatest strategy in regards to quitting porn. A better strategy is, hey, I meet with people on a regular basis and talk about this. It is now part of my identity. I am known as a guy who doesn't watch. I'm a part of a group of people who believe that we don't watch and all those types of things. And that's kind of what I've tried to build for the men that I work with, which is it's a program that is eight weeks long that is kind of rigorous with coursework and deep conversation calls with, with a few men. But then after that, there's lifetime access to calls each week where you can dive into these deep conversations. I think many men avoid deep conversations. They keep it on the shallow end of the spectrum. They don't dive into what truly is important in their life. And what I've seen is once you start diving into the why you're watching, the root reasons, and the triggers – Having that conversation opens you up and helps you understand your addiction so much more and it would not be possible without deep conversations. And that's kind of my entire mantra. It's like remove porn from your life and so that you can build your dream life. To me, my dream life is having deep conversations with people, people I truly care about and people in general. I just love deep conversations. I sometimes get stuck with people trying to leave, but it's like, oh, I, you know, I should leave, but I really like talking and I run into these problems. So I'm, I'm a little too far on the spectrum of interested in deep conversations, but I really think that most men are on the opposite side of the spectrum, not willing to dive deep enough or just a little uncomfortable about opening up. And that's what I try to do. I try to be the guy who is very compassionate to that, knowing that most people aren't interested in talking about it. But if I try to give a little tough love and say, hey man, I'm just here to help. I just want to hear your story. And you'd be surprised how many people see insane progress just from one call where they are forced, forced is an interesting word, where they are talking about their struggle, their story, their goals, who they are. In doing that, like you kind of make it all real. Sometimes when you're watching porn, you have this, you know, you have this little habit in the back of your mind and you do it without anyone knowing and it's kind of like, yeah, I don't really do it. I, I don't worry about it. But as soon as you kind of bring it into the spotlight, you're able to see, oh, wow, this isn't something that I even really need to do and my reasons for doing it don't even really make sense. I could be doing other things and make me feel better anyways. A lot of times it's just a poor coping mechanism watching porn. And once you start diving into the deep conversations about it, you're going to see massive results. So if you're interested in having a deep conversation about this, no strings attached, reach out to me on Instagram at road away from porn. That is the place where people reach out to me the most. And I would love to sit down, hear your story and see how I can help. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Farewell.